global warming, greenhouse effect, heat waves, floods, and melting ice caps are common weather events in our day. On the radio, on television, in newspapers, and especially in the global network. Scientists argue, but nobody has a convincing explanation for these facts. Seeking the physical sciences, we find the thermodynamics of the atmosphere that perfectly explain the greenhouse effect as a natural phenomenon. The thermodynamic study of the atmosphere starts with the assembly of equipment in a container of measures it takes. Thermometer, hygrometer, barometer, anemometer, a GPS receiver, a radio transmitter, and a parachute attached to a helium to a helium balloon. Connect the equipment at the right time, loosens up, the balloon rising into the atmosphere that will transmit data to a ground station. At the ground station data are processed and stored in a digital database. Data are presented in table form with approximately one sample per minute of a flight. These data from the atmosphere are critical to flight safety to predict the formation of clouds and thunderstorms. But in table form, it's difficult to visualize and then create a chart called diagrams QT, log P, or inclined temperature versus the logarithm of pressure. The horizontal line are the isobars, lines of equal pressure depending on the height of sea level and indicated millibars. These lines at 45 degrees are the isotherms, lines of constant temperature. These lines, magenta or pink, are isoplethes showing the locations of the same index or ratio of air, water vapor in grams of vapor per kilogram of air. These lines slanted to the left are the dry adiabatic, indicate points in space where the dry air has the same amount of energy in joules per kilogram. These vertical lines that start leaning to the left are most adiabatic, indicate points of space in the air with 100% humidity has the same energy. Finally, released in the graph the atmospheric sounding data. The air temperature with hay over sea level or state temperature. the dew point temperature that indicates the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere, the speed and wind direction, the meteorological factors which are provided through the rain, thunderstorms and hurricanes, local pole, airport civil field of Mars, Sao Paulo capital, Zulu time and date of the pole. Entity that files these data. Wyoming University, United States. The University of Wyoming maintains a database of surveys of the major airport in the world with access by the internet. Let us see how the thermodynamics explains global warming in two scenarios. A scenario with soil water. The sun's rays warm the ground. The portion of air in contact with the heated soil removes part of this heat. By hypothesis, warming 35 degrees Celsius and evaporates water from the soil and increases the rate of mixing of the air parcel. 
the portion of heated air along with the water vapor rises into the atmosphere following a dry adiabatic up to find the dew point isoplexus. At this point, the water vapor starts condensing to form clouds and they're transferring latent heat to the portion of air that surrounds it. The air becomes humid and from there begins to climb the moist adiabatic until to meet the line of state temperature. With this heat removed from the hot ground, is released above 500 millibars and goes into space no longer returns to the ground. This process handles between 40% and 60% of all energy that reaches the ground. Scenario 2. No water in the soil. The sun's energy that reaches the earth warms the soil. The portion of air in contact with the soil warms 35 degrees Celsius by hypothesis and rises into the atmosphere by a dry adiabatic up to the line state to temperature where it parks, radiating heat and recirculating in the lower atmosphere. That is the greenhouse effect, completely natural. But, how to stop global warming? Compute the temperature needed to dry surfaces as asphalt, roofs, floors, cemented and others for this causing study. Sao Paulo, September 13, 2010. Let's raise an isoplethus from the dew point to 2 meters of soil to read a moist adiabatic tended at the right of line of the state's temperature. Bre by crossing these lines, bow a dry adiabatic up to the soil line. Here, we find the temperature that the portion of air must reach to win the greenhouse effect, 40 degrees Celsius. Compute the temperature must reach the surface to raise the temperature of the portion will be 40 degrees Celsius. Surface temperature plus temperature divided by 2 is equal to the temperature of the parcel. T surface equal 2T parcel minus T ambient equal 56 degrees Celsius. Proceeding now by trial and error, which seek a dry adiabatic temperature when crossing the state, find one that satisfies the equation isoplexus. Isoplethus plot equal isoplethus ambient plus 100% isoplethus at ground level divided by 2. Found temperature of porcel equal 29 degrees Celsius. Isoplethus porcel equal 16 grams of steam equal 16 grams of steam per kilogram of air. Calculating the surface temperature of 35 degrees Celsius wet encounter. One difference from 56 to 35. Equal 21 degrees Celsius. The thermodynamic analysis suggests that the atmosphere is lacking water in the soil. Then, measuring the speed of water penetration into the soil here in Manaus, found that this velocity varies with depth in the field and follows this table. This suggests a ceiling of 20 to 45 centimeters deep. Verified in Brazilian Cerrado, 2010 fire that burned 1,231 kilometers square. Despite the rain, witnessed by pools of water, the soil was still dry. The greenhouse effect is shown here in Manaus in these tables. T 
temperatures of 24 hours of the May 9, 2010. Calculation of calorific energy correspondence. Power dissipated by convection reached 616 watts per square meter. The energy emitted by the atmosphere and that there even at night corresponded to 480 watts per square meter. This is the greenhouse effect. What can we do? Shower on the roof? Fountain in the squares? Water in northeast Brazil? Water in the Sahara Desert? To conclude, we want to thank those who have always supported us and encouraged us in the work of this research. Dr. Philippe Dow, our thanks.